positioning of high organic products up to date is opportunities or risks. Growth of organic and my case study is growth. Where to go from here? The value of organic products in the market will bring up the high demand. The movement in local and international. Francis Farm, uh, now a member of non-profit organizations such as Organic Agriculture Association Thailand, High Organic Food and Agriculture Federation, and Organic Society, which are the small group of the people who interest in organic. We do the workshop with the Department of Agriculture, Department of Agriculture Extension, SMEs and universities. Exhibition and workshop is a field that we mentioned to which FHA in 2002, uh, 2002 in Singapore and POA in 2003, uh, 2003 in Singapore. Uh, I think this year is back now. What we found? Sustainable farming, the happiness that you can eat, a social benefit, the harvesting community relationships, poverty reduction through QC process, in contract farming, health benefit, what the bio strategy to grow organic awareness and consumer behavior, environmental benefit, the growth of biodiversity that we found, that form of planning. We do inside out, not outside in. That means the quality will be the important one to bring up the blending mesh to the market. Five impression. Value to organic color loyalty. Diversity of products. This domestic demand. Slow a steady growing market. What map to success from farm to consumption accessible in Ireland? Export and domestic professional organic produce market. We come to take a look at the global organic uh, food industry. This is a source that uh, we found from the similar Singapore year uh, 2003. The market size is 23 uh, billion US dollars in the year 2002. The largest market is North America. It's uh, approximately about 11 billion US dollars. West Europe, 10.5 billion dollars. In Asia, 0.4 billion dollars. The highest consumption at, uh, in Denmark and Switzerland. This is all the overview of uh, North America in the state. Organic farmland is 0.2%. The retail penetration, medium. In Canada, organic farmland is 0.58%. The retail penetration is low. In Western Europe, the distribution of organic farmland in the EU year 2002, in Italy 29%, Spain 11 French 9 Finland 3%, Sweden 4%, German, Germany is 14%, Denmark 4%, Austria 6 UK is quite high, it's about 16%. And I'll score. The retail penetration in the EU year 2007. Italy medium, French medium, Germany low. Denmark high, very high. Uh, Switzerland very high, UK very high. In Australia, Bosnia, market growth is 14%. Australia, organic farmland 2.31%, retail penetration low. New Zealand, organic farmland is 0.38%, uh, retail penetration low. Overview of Asia. In Japan, organic farmland is 0.1%, retail penetration is low. Singapore, organic farmland is more active. They have no lands in the agriculture. <laughs> <laughs> the retail penetration is low. The Thailand organic farmland is now 0.01%. Zero, zero 
this is a problem that we found that uh, we are the agriculture country. We suppose we have more percentage of organic farm land. But maybe uh, British uh, retail administration is wrong. As I said, the, the market is both slow but steady. Charging to export market, sweet being a nightmare. Why export? From the data that we have now, we have 0 0.01% <coughs> of organic farmland. We are both thinking about exporting. I don't know if this is true, it's a bit sweeping or nightmare. The international expectation and restriction, uh, risky conditions, the roadmap to travel, farm process, standard level, trade agreement, it's still problem. The different condition between export and domestic or fresh organic produce market. You can see on the export side, the buyer's qualification. Real potential of varieties. High volume of monocrop. High logistic cost. High risk. On the domestic side, the local qualification. Maybe we can do this using the, that the uh, local qualification is more than different other qualifications in the world now. <laughs> Diversity of varieties. We have varieties of uh, leafy products that international never know as our food. Less volume of integrated crop. Less logis uh, logistic costs and low risk. <laughs> This is the case study export to Japan, Moscow class. The buyer's requirement, just certified. The farmer's problem said, certification cost is high. The insect protection regulation. In organic farm, the farmer cannot use insecticide. The stable wall, organic health and stable wall. The buyer needs the low price to win the market. The farmer said, it's supposed to be the high price deal. Well, the successful roadmap to successful unlock consumer constriction, uh, uh, sorry, unlock consumer restrictions to organic. The government sector is supposed to promote organic food benefits to consumers. Understanding this demand in Thailand. Farmers follow organic standard regulation. Supposed to. The value added market, spirituality, consumer's behavior, and pay for the premium on organic food. The critical success factors, certification, quality, and product differentiation. What we see now is our public and product. The farmers benefit of organic farming, sustainable living on farm, health benefit, social benefit, environmental benefit, biodiversity benefit, and income. Well, this is not poetry, but self-sufficiency. At the first beginning of the farmer made decision from conventional farming get into organic farming, they got all these benefits. They don't have to pay for the synthetic chemical in agriculture. Since started from fertilizer, pesticides, fungicides, and also those synthetic chemical use in agriculture. So they don't need the loan. Normally, the farmer give uh, their income to all those products that they, they never can find by themselves. But in organic farmland, uh, this is what we found because we are the farmer. Thank you for your attention. I'm proud to be an organic farmer. Thank you.